Hello, my name is Diana Lindsay, and welcome to a special feature for cooking. Uh, this, this month, we're going to feature one of our publishers. Uh, it is Golden West uh, Publications in Arizona. And this publisher started with one cookbook in the mid 1970s. And this book was the Arizona Cookbook and it has sold over 350,000 copies. Since then, Bill Fessler, the publisher of Golden West has over 80 different cookbooks of a variety of subjects. And we're going to feature his cookbooks this month. So be sure and check our website and all those cookbooks that uh, you can go out and enjoy and do fun things with. So Bill, I'm going to ask you some questions, introduce you here, and please tell us a little bit about how you got into cookbooks and you know how you have developed this publishing house. And let's just hear a little more about it. All right. Well, thanks for inviting me in today, Diana. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been, you know, we've been publishing books uh, like you, you introduced, to, you know, since the 70s. Uh, this is actually, I'm the third generation publishing in this family. Uh, my grandfather got the business started, but uh, it really didn't start rolling until my parents took over uh, essentially in 1979. Uh, and then uh, I came along and uh, turned it into a full-time business, uh, going from hobby status, if you will, but uh, successful hobby, but we really grew it uh, starting in uh, 1995, and we've been growing ever since. Um, the cookbooks are kind of new to us in that uh, Golden West Publishing was a, uh, another publisher that was here in Phoenix. And we purchased them about 15 years ago and merged the two businesses together. And uh, they had the line of cookbooks going. So we, we got involved sort of as a happy accident. Um, we've been publishing a lot of similar outdoor nature and history of the Southwest type of books. And they were doing cookbooks uh, uh, also. And when we took over, uh, we adopted all the cookbooks and we've kept almost all of them going. Uh, and uh, yeah, that Arizona cookbook, it's probably more like 500,000 copies have sold. So wow, far. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So tell us a little bit about some of the themes that you have in your cookbooks. What, what kind of cookbooks do you have? So we have, we're working on state cookbooks. We have 30 of different States covered. We have, you know, everything from California over to Florida, uh, up to New England with the main cookbook and, and back over to Washington State. We're working on the other 20. We're going to get those done one of these years. Uh, we have three kind of in the works right now. Uh, but those are the state cookbooks and they're just fun kind of souvenir products that people bring along. Uh, here's, uh, for example, the New Mexico cookbook. It's just uh, 1095 price and uh, it's about 120 pages and that's pretty much the standard for almost all of the cookbooks we do. Uh, we also have some uh, we call fresh on the farm type books. Uh, it, they're, they're taking a specific vegetable or fruit and just going to town with it. Uh, peach lovers, pumpkin lovers, uh, citrus lovers. I mean you kind of come up with all these different uh, flavors and just see how many different recipes you can come up with them. Uh, actually, different times of year, some of them, uh, you know, you can see the sales pick up. Uh, Pumpkin Lovers obviously does really well in the fall, uh, but we've discovered we're doing a Cooking with Herbs book, and uh, that one is really starting, this is the season right now, all the herbs are starting to to burst and grow and, and, and be uh, cultivated, so uh, something like that is going. Um, we also have a lot of uh, outdoor cookbooks and barbecue and uh, ABCs of fish cooking and ABCs of camp cooking and a lot of fun uh, variety of, of out, get outdoors and do some uh, uh, barbecue or on a hot fire type of cooking. Um, our last little area that we have a lot of books on are the Mexican uh, 
uh, recipe cookbooks. And we have pretty much uh, saturated that market with um, quick and easy ones. We have low fat Mexican recipes. We have family favorite, Mexican family favorites. We have a veggie mex, vegetarian recipes. Um, you kind of think of a sub subtopic and we've done a cookbook on it. So Mexican cookbooks are one of our best selling, uh, especially being what, here. What's your best selling Mexican cookbook? That's an easy one. Mexican family. This guy, this is, uh, you talked about the Arizona cookbook being the first one. This was the second cookbook. And uh, this is the one that everybody seems to recognize when they go on a, a travel trip and stick their head in a gift shop and looking for a book to take home with them. They see this one almost everywhere here in the Southwest. Yeah, I love, I love the theme that you have the lovers cookbook, the bean lovers, the tequila lovers, the apple lovers, uh, uh, the, all those lovers. Well, who came up with that title and, and how many lover books do you have? <laughs> So we probably have, I'm going to say that we have 20 of the Lovers series. Uh, they kind of cross over between the fresh on the farm subjects and the outdoor uh, subjects, but uh, the Lovers series are, are, yeah, they're another popular one. Uh, you just mentioned the Tequila Lovers, which is kind of a fun, fun idea. Uh, just, you know, not a lot of people think about a whole cookbook dedicated to tequila. Uh, but here in the Southwest, you know, a lot of people take a bottle with them home just to show off to the folks back, uh, back in the Midwest or something, uh, some of the fun stuff that's going on here. And, uh, and so that book does really well, especially at some of the airport gift shops. Well, what, you know, what is your personal favorite cookbook? Oh, my personal favorite? Uh, I am a big fan of chilies. And so we have a couple of different chili related cookbooks. Uh, there's, there's this one, it's called the Chili Lovers Cookbook and it covers both kinds of chilies. There's the chilies that grow as a plant and then there's the chili that is served uh, hot uh, out of a, oftentimes out of a Dutch oven or some other big pot. Uh, the chili, so this actually covers both, both types of chilies. But the other one, uh, and this is why I love it so much, is too many chilies. Uh, it's about cooking with chilies, using the fruit uh, and uh, taking advantage of all that. And you can see, you know, we've got a lot of fun chilies. There's a lot of variety. And, uh, you know, they just kind of take on all shapes and sizes. Uh, some are hot, some are really sweet, and uh, the bell peppers are, are a popular one. But, uh, it's fun to kind of try and put some of the other ones in there too, just to see where it's going to take your flavors. What, what's your most unique cookbook? Oh, unique. Let's see. Well, we've got, uh, I've got a few. We have, uh, we have one, it's called Arizona Territory Cookbook. Uh, we also have one that's the Billy the Kid Cookbook. And these two are kind of unique in that they take some old, recipes, some old, like uh, turn of the 19, you know, the 1900s and even in the 1800s, what, uh, what cookie was using out there on the wagon, on the wagon rails and uh, taking some of those fun ones uh, and turning them into uh, popular stuff you'd want to eat here at home. Uh, what's one of the uh, most interesting things about those is they have sourdough recipes, how to build your own sourdough starter kit. And uh, both of them have that in there because that was sort of a main staple item uh, for those uh, cowboys back in the day. You have, you have cookbooks too for people that go camping or outdoors. What are, what are some of those titles? Well, you've got uh, outdoors folks that like to go fishing and we have ABCs of fish cooking. We have uh, some barbecue cookbooks, easy barbecue recipes. We also have one on easy barbecue sauces, uh, which are a lot of fun. Uh, one of our more unique books too is uh, easy recipes for wild game and fish. So it's what to do with the, uh, with the uh, collection from the hunting, hunting trip that uh, some people get. So if they're out there and they wanna remember how to cook a dove or how to cook deer, 
deer meat or whatever else that they might be interested in. We even have a little, I think we threw out a little roadkill section for what to do with some of the, the crazy animals that uh, get in front of the vehicles on their way. way wow, along. roadkill. <laughs> what, kind, what do you cook on roadkill? <laughs> There, are, it's funny. There are some states where roadkill is illegal to uh, collect, and there are other states where it is perfectly allowed. So it's uh, it, it makes for a fun section in the book. You even have cookbooks for drinking, right? Uh, for drinks that you can make. Sure. Those. We have uh, a book on margaritas, sangrias, and more. We have Mexican desserts and drinks. Those two are pretty popular. Uh, we also have uh, the Tequila Lovers Cookbook, and all of those do really fun, uh, you know, create some really good ideas for uh, cooking. We also do a Citrus Lovers Cookbook, which uh, has a lot of cooking recipes, but it also throws in a lot of drinking recipes as well. So it sounds like folks can uh, look at your recipes and find some really great books for summer coming in summer and planning their trips or barbecues or outdoor or just having guests over for the summertime so sounds like you have a little bit out of everything that folks can find we think we do we always are on the lookout for the next one that we haven't haven't thought of yet uh, we are probably our next cookbook that we come out with will be a uh, dutch oven cookbook uh, we're, the problem we have with that one is there's actually too many recipes uh, and we need to make it a reasonable size, but we, we hate to uh, knock anything out of there. But we're always looking for uh, uh, a topic to, to drive a cookbook around. And uh, yeah, we've been doing it so long that, uh, that we think we have more recipes than uh, almost what's on the internet. Uh, but, uh, you know, the whole idea here is to give people something to either a take home if they're a resident to, to help help with their local cooking or to take something home back back to their homeland uh, when they're on traveling on vacation and they just uh, either a want to bring something back for their home kitchen or if they want to bring a gift to some of their friends back, back you know, at, near their neighborhood yeah, what I like about the cookbooks are so economically priced. I mean, they're very affordable. And so aren't they all about 1095? Yeah, the entire series of, of cookbooks uh, that have the, the spiral binding, they're 1095 retail price. Uh, the retail stores love that. Uh, they think they, you know, there are so many different cookbooks out there. And what's wonderful about the cookbook business is there's always room for another cookbook on the shelf back at home. So yes, everybody wants to have that Betty Crocker cookbook or a home and garden cookbook or the, you know, the, the fancy chef stuff, but these are priced at the rate where somebody else can use these. These have introductory recipes. They're not trying to be the be all and end all of uh, gourmet dining. They're, they're just full of as many recipes as we can get in there uh, that help the average cook have a great time, uh, whether they're using their own home oven or if they're out, outdoors on barbecue or at a campfire or who knows where they're cooking. That's really wonderful. And folks, just take a look at our website because it's 1095 retail, but we have them discounted. So check them out and buy a bunch of cookbooks and invite some folks over and have a barbecue or have a dinner or go camping and enjoy these really fine cookbooks that uh, Bill has produced. Bill, thank you so much for being a guest today. So appreciate you. Thank Get you. About your cookbooks. Thanks a lot, Diana. It's uh, always fun to work with you and Sunbelt and uh, hopefully we can be done a lot more of this stuff uh, down the road. Yeah, <laughs> thank you.